My name is Lexi Hill. I was born in an ordinary family. Mom and Dad always told me that I need to study hard to go to the best university. I do love to study, and I love my high school. Later, I got a chance to transfer to the best high school in our area, the legendary Unicorn High. It's not an ordinary high school. It's for the rich, young, and talented. Although I'm not rich, I am a talent. Meanwhile, things begin to get rough. I'm nothing like the girls at Unicorn High School. I feel like I'm trapped. Now I'm going to talk about my first day at Unicorn High. It's completely out of my expectations, in a good way, and also in a bad way. It was Lexi's big day. She would be an official Unicorn High girl. Her mother kindly bought her a new outfit for her first day, but Lexi was so anxious because it's not her type at all. Can you help her? I'm so worried about my look. I blame my mom's fashion taste. This is a horrible outfit for school. Orange is not my color. I hate gradient design. I need my ordinary outfit urgently. This feels right. I don't need a fancy skirt to prove myself. Now I need to waste some time and go downstairs a little late in case my mom sends me back to change clothes. This is absolutely my style. I don't want to dress like a prom queen. I don't believe the girls at Unicorn High would wear a prom dress every day. Oh no, I should hurry. It's time to leave now. She felt a stirring when she stepped into Unicorn High. Everything seems so gorgeous here. After registration, she was in a hurry to find the girls' changing room. She needed to get a head-to-toe makeover to be a Unicorn High girl before class. However, she ran into somebody. Oh no, I'm so sorry, are you okay? You look quite unfamiliar. Are you new here? Yes, today is my first day. My name is Lexi Hill. I'm so sorry, I ruined your outfit. Please tell me your name and class. I'll pay for your laundry fee. I'm so sorry again. Wanna go? No way. First, let me help you clean up this mess. I have to leave now. The teacher in registration told me I need to put on the school uniform before I go to class. I will let you go today. The girls' changing room is in that building, right-hand side on the first floor. Thank you, Damon. I'll keep that in mind that I owe you a coffee. I'm gonna go now. See you later. What a cute girl. She's nothing like the other girls in my life. She is so different arrived at the girls' changing room. It looks so big and fabulous. The teacher told her that her locker is number 158. Here it is. Everyone here looks fabulous indeed, but the skirt looks too short for me. I'm nervous. I'm afraid I'll look like the ugly duck in a pool of swans after dressing like the rich girls. <laughs> you good luck in your new school. Remember to keep a smile and make more friends. Mom. Thank you, Mom. I'm working on it. Don't worry. <laughs> hey, new girl. This is my number. Save it. I am waiting for my coffee. Damon. Lexi arrived at her class. Daniel, her new class leader, and a very handsome boy took her to an orientation tour. Now we are in the hallway of teaching building number one. We will take most of our classes here. You can use this locker. Here is your key. Normally girls will decorate their lockers in a fancy way. It's like a tradition. Now you look like a unicorn high girl. Let's go to the library next. I feel a little awkward dressing like this. 
Not sure if I look good. This is also the first time I did my makeup like this. You don't look good. You look fantastic. I see stars in your eyes. Be confident. You are better than every other girl here. You are the best. Thank you, Daniel. You're so nice. Let's go. Lexi took off her glasses and put on a new outfit. Lexi felt very good about her new life at this school. Daniel was so nice and cute. Lexi felt like he could be her first friend here. After a rain shower in the morning, the schoolyard looked a bit messy. Daniel took Lexi to his favorite corner at Unicorn High. Hey Lexi, I am throwing a housewarming party next week. Would you like to come? Sure, of course. Thanks for inviting me. That's great. Now it's time to show you our school library. Let's go. What's wrong with Daniel? Why did he ask the new girl to his private party? She looks so scrubby. How dare she get so close to Daniel? After the orientation tour, Lexi went to the school cafeteria for lunch alone. She can never imagine someone would ruin her day here. This is my cupcake? Back off, new girl. How dare you grab my cupcake? Look at your cheesy face. You don't belong at this high school. And consider this an official warning. Stay away from Daniel. He is my boyfriend. Don't get me wrong, I'm just... Put away your illusion with Daniel. He is just nice to everyone. He will never be into you. Frustrated, Lexi locked herself in the school bathroom, removed all her makeup, and changed back into her cheesy outfit. She didn't want to be seen by anyone. She waited for everyone to leave the school. I thought everything would go well today. I tried so hard to fit in at this high school. The uniform, the makeup, everything. And I got the chance to know Daniel. He was such a good guy. But Paris broke every illusion of mine so easily. I don't belong here. I'm not one of the Unicorn High girls. I'm just Lexi, and I have nothing different to offer. Hey, new girl who owes me a cup of coffee. What are you thinking about? It's raining. My umbrella is broken. I'm not thinking, okay? Here, take this one and go home. You are wet and shivering. If you get sick, who will take me to coffee? What a strange person. Maybe he's also a transfer student. Look at his umbrella, it's so shabby. That's not Unicorn High at all. Poor girl. I saw Paris give her a hard time in the cafeteria. She thought I was from an ordinary family like her. Actually, that umbrella is borrowed from the school guard. I never use an umbrella because I have a personal attendant and a driver for my family. My brother invited her to our housewarming party. I don't know if she still wants to come now. Hope she comes. Then I can see her again. Next on Unicorn High School. Leaving now, I hope Daniel likes my party plan. And I also hope that the nasty Lexi will not be there. You guys live together? You are... You know Damon is my brother, right? The plan is perfect. I am such a genius. Today, Daniel took a leave of absence. When I returned from PE class, my desk was destroyed like this. <laughs> More high school love stories will be revealed. Stay tuned to our next game.